Hello, everyone, and welcome to the electronic scoreboard for, let's see, this one is season ticket baseball, and uh, it's a game that I've kind of grown fond of, and this replay is a um, select teams of 1976. There we go. I selected these eight teams from 1976. And what we're doing is I've put them through brackets that are exactly like the College World Series. So I put my eight teams here. And the Reds have uh, pretty much sailed through and defeated all the – and won out for the National League bracket, I should say. The Dodgers uh, initially lost to the Reds and went to the loser's bracket to play the Phillies, who lost to the Pirates. Dodgers won that. Pirates came down, and they played. The Dodgers prevailed, and then they lost to the Reds for their second loss. So it was basically a double elimination. Now, the Red Sox um, were coming through the winner's bracket, and the Orioles – came out of the loser's bracket, but they defeated the Red Sox. So this is the game I'm playing. It's an elimination game between the Orioles and the Red Sox. Whoever loses is out. The winner will move on to face the Reds. Today's game will feature uh, Jim Palmer pitching for the Orioles and uh, Louis Tiant for the Red Sox. And these are the uh, leaders in statistics. Um, and these statistics are obviously limited to just this bracket play. So I've just started the game. We'll play a few innings. Uh, I'm on Screencast-O-Matic software, so I have 15 minutes of uh, free time. So I've already registered... Uh, Top of the first, we're into the bottom of the first. Red Sox, Rick Miller up against Jim Palmer with a 257. So we're looking here at the pitcher card, 257 against the lefty Rick Miller. And that'll be a fly out to left field. You can see the Orioles out on the field here. I really like this scoreboard. This is one of the most recent ones I've done. I do have to download all these little images and make sure they're clipped cleanly so that they uh, kind of look nice out on the field. So Denny Doyle's up with a 570. And as we know in season ticket uh, baseball, when you have a five, uh, you're looking for a fielding check. So we're looking at Al Bumbry. And of course he makes the play on a 570, fly out left field. Getting into the heart of the Red Sox lineup now with uh, Freddie Lynn, and he will strike out on a 3-1-4. So we go to the top of the second. Lee May batting with a 166 facing Louis Tiant. 166 will be a fly out right field. And you can see the defensive lineup for the Red Sox. Behind the plate is Carlton Fisk here. Doug DeSensei is up with a 145, and that's a fly out left field. Brings up Kenny Singleton with a 681. We'll be going to the ballpark card for Fenway with a 681. That's pretty far into it. So, yep, he got a single. So that's a base hit for Ken Singleton. Bringing up the blade with two outs. 307 will be a strikeout. Bottom of the second. Jim Palmer facing Carlton Fisk with a 4-1-7. And that'll be a base on ball. Issue to Carlton Fisk. Starting the inning. Brings up Yaz with a 5-5-4. So this could be trouble. Looking for Doug DeSensei on a 5-5-4. The third baseman. 5-5. Five, five. It's a 5-3, so Carlton will advance to second base. Ground out, and we'll advance Carlton to second base. 
Jim Rice up, one out in the inning, 5-4-0. And that'll be uh, Bobby Rich's card at second base into 4-6-3 double play. And how you interpret the uh, ground outs in a uh, season ticket is you cannot add a field or so. Uh, you can take away. So it'll be a 4-3, and Carlton Fisk will advance to third on the ground out. So we'll move Carlton over to third. Brings up Dwight Evans. So Dewey's up with two outs, facing Jim Palmer with a four, three, two, and that's a ground out. Ending the inning. Dave Duncan up with a 170 fly out right field. Bobby Gritch, 207. That'll make it a 407. Oh, I'm sorry, 207 is the next line down. And so that'll be a strikeout. Paul Blair with a 319, that's a strikeout. Top of the bottom of the third. Jim Palmer facing Rico Petroselli. The 691, oh, ballpark. Pretty far into it. It's a wild pitch. So we'll roll again because nobody's on base. 436, and that's a ground out. Rick Burleson, I believe the bottom of the order, 630, ballpark chart. Ground out to third base. Rick Miller, top of the order, 497. So this one will be deep to right field for the left-handed batter. All right, so we have a deep to right field, and we'll be using the white and the blue and using his power of one. So that'll be a total of six. So it could have dropped in as a blue, but it's a fly out to right field. Now we go to the top of the fourth with Al Bumbry, 448. And that is a uh, pop out, looks like the third base or fly out to third base. So I imagine he went uh, into left field to get that one. Reggie Jackson playing for the Orioles here in 76. 140. Let's see what that one is. That's a fly out left field. And Lee May with a 667 will be looking at the ballpark chart. And it's a line out to shortstop. So seems to be a pitcher's duel happening here. We'll see how that uh, pans out. Three, four, zero. And to fly out right field. Freddie Lynn with a three, five, five. And that is a single, infield single. Puts Fred Lynn on first base. One out, bringing up Carlton Fisk with a 184. It's a fly out right field. Each team just one hit so far, 598. That looks like trouble for the right fielder, Reggie Jackson. 598 is a single, runners advance, one base. Yep, runner first to second. Let's see, Jim Rice is up with a 450 against the righty, and that'll be a strikeout. Jim Palmer gets him. Top of the fifth, Doug DeSensei to lead off. He flied out his first time up, 156. That's a line out to third base. Ken Singleton, 129. Fly out to shortstop. And 633 for the blade is a 5-3 ground out. Brings up Dewey, 223. And that's a ground out to shortstop. Rico Petroselli with a 5-1-4. That'll be off the pitcher's guard. And he gets him at first base. Come backer to the pitcher. Rick Burleson, 6-1-3. And that'll be a first base unassisted ground out. 
Dave Duncan up with a 612. Looks like no trouble on that. Uh, first base, unassisted. Oh no, he tossed it to the pitcher. 191 for Bobby Gritch. Uh oh. So there's a bloop single. Puts Gritch on first base. Bringing up our, uh, Paul Blair. 190, 190. Another bloop single. First and second. One out. Al Bumbry's up with a 639. That does not sound good. That's a 6-3. Runners will advance. So we'll move uh, Gritch to third. And Paul Blair over to first or second base. Reggie's up with a 587. That could be trouble. See what Freddie Lynn does with a 587. Oh, it's a fly out. He, he got it. Freddie makes the play. Ending that threat in the top of the six, bottom of the six. Jim Palmer facing Rick Miller, 482. And that's a fly out. Danny Doyle with a 347. And that'll be a single, infield single. Doesn't seem right. Nope. It falls in here, fly out right field. Freddie Lynn with a 236. And that's a fly out to first baseman. Top of the seventh. Both pitchers are moving on. Checking the stamina. Looking okay right now. He can go six. He's into the seventh. Since this is the first inning for Louis, uh, past his stamina rating, we'll be adding 10 to ballpark results. So Lee May with a 4-6-0. Wow, okay. That's a leadoff triple for the O's. The big guy made it around the third base. Doug DeSensei with a 2-7-5. All right. Looks like Orioles might have something going here. That's hit to deep left field by Doug DeSensei. He has a power of five. So we'll be adding the white and the blue to that. And that'll be an 11. And that'll be a double to left field. And that'll bring in Lee May for the game's first run. Orioles take a one to nothing lead. Let's see. Ken Singleton with a 394. And look, oh, he just missed a home run. That is a single. Runners will advance two bases, bringing Doug DeSensei home to score another run for the Orioles. No outs in the inning. All right. And we will continue. What is his fatigue factor at five right now? So the blade is up. A 5.99. Uh, that's trouble. Right field, even for Dewey, a 5.99. That's a single. So that'll be a single. And um, if there was a runner on second, they could challenge uh, Dewey's arm, which you do not want to do typically. So that'll be a single for Mark Belanger. And Dave Duncan's up with a 4. 58. That'll be a fly out to left field. Bobby Gritch, 288. Uh-oh, more trouble potentially. And this has been hit to deep left field with a power rating of 5 added to these two. Oh, boy. 15 plus 5. That's a 20. That ball is out of here over the green monster. And that is a three-run home run. Uh, we'll be taking uh, Louis out at this point. Uh, he did great for six innings, and uh, I'll have to replace him at this point. But he play, he shut him down for six innings. But look at that seventh inning! Wow. Okay, my time's about up, but uh, we may have a clear winner here, and uh, that means the Orioles may be winning this game and moving on to play the Reds. For the uh, bracket uh, for the uh, double elimination tournament championship game. We shall see. All right, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the forums.